Um, I'm Wyatt. Uh, I live in San Francisco. I uh, work for Constellation Labs and I'm the CTO. Oh, cool. Um, so we're building uh, a new kind of Bitcoin, I guess one could say. Um, we're, we're uh, you know, kind of, we, we liken ourselves to something called like a, a nonlinear consensus protocol. So what we're trying to do is actually find a way to perform distributed consensus concurrently. And what's really cool is that, uh, you know, in order to actually achieve this, we replaced, you know, the traditional like proof of work step that exists in a lot of different blockchains as opposed to like a proof of stake um, with an actual game that optimizes the network's topology. So nodes constantly try to compete to become kind of like the best actor in the system. And the result is that it will have some kind of semi-autonomous behavior. Programming, software architectures, and data pipelines. So just programming in general. Uh, I'll probably go with architecture just because it sounds a little bit more, you know, fun than than programming in general. And I've I've written quite a few too many data pipelines to, you know, <laughs> want to do that on a Saturday. What am I gonna share? Um, well, I guess, you know, best practices are all kind of, uh, you know, relative to what you're actually trying to do. Um, for us and what we're trying to build, we really just want to make everything as functional as possible. Um, so, yeah, I guess one could just say general functional programming best principles. Uh, Honestly, I'm really interested in, in just the functional programming kind of stuff that's going on. So like I went to that to Haskell talk yesterday and I thought Oscar Boykin's talk about, um, you know, coming up with a way to do like reasonable functional programming, like, uh, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, use a var in some place if you need to, to speed something up, but you can still have really functional uh, interfaces. Um, I thought that was a really cool talk and uh, that's the kind of stuff I'm, I'm interested in. Ah, that's deep, man. Um, well, you know, um, I'll say on the whole, like, programming got easier for me when I learned about functional programming. Um, even just doing stuff in Python, like with, you know, lambdas and, uh, you know, some, like, list comprehensions and stuff, um, things are just a lot easier to reason about. And when I started doing uh, or using like more comprehensive type things like in Scala, um, I was actually really able to kind of see the, the connection to like higher order, like just like higher mathematics and kind of what we're doing in programming. Um, that was kind of a huge aha moment for, you know, me and sort of understanding really like what's going on when we're building like distributed systems or processing data um, in general. And um, Honestly, like uh, just learning Scala in general, um, although I don't want to sound too much of a fanboy, but it kind of really kick-started, I think, my career um, because it, it just sort of opened up uh, a whole set of skills and a tool set that um, made me a pretty uh, effective programmer. Um, well, I mean, my team, uh, who's all here, I just want to give a shout out to all the Constellation guys and Tyler and Ryle. Thanks for, for coming and Ryle, you know, my, being the teammate, giving the talk with me today. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I ran into one of my old folk heroes, Oscar Boykin, yesterday, who, you know, his, some of the stuff he's worked on we're using directly, and I've been following that, that work, like, with AlgebraBird. Uh, for, for a really long time. Um, so that was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, it just sort of, it was kind of nice to, to be a part of the whole ecosystem a little bit more. Um, I think I'm kind of younger than a lot of my, you know, colleagues and stuff, so it's, you know, this is my first one, and it's kind of a huge honor to, to, to be here, really.